Yo guys, for today's video, I'm going to do my Holy Grail drugstore products. Ito talaga yung mga products na always kong ginagamit. All the stuffs that I'm gonna use today, everything is from the drugstore. So first, let me start <coughs> with my lips. I'm going to moisturize my lips. I am just using the Nivea Original Care Colorless Lip Balm. I have already moisturized my face, toned my face as well. And now let's start off with the foundation. I'm gonna use the primer pala. For the primer, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. For the foundation, I'm gonna be using L'Oreal True Match Liquid Foundation and this is in the shade N3. That's the foundation. I like this foundation kasi nabi build up mo siya to a full coverage. That is something na kailangan mo sa isang foundation. Like, pwede mo siyang gamitin for a light coverage, the medium, and of course, for a full coverage. Very considerate na foundation na to. I really like it. And the finish is kind of, uh, parang nasa dewy effect yung finish niya. Which I like, especially for summer kasi ayaw ko na super matte. I know it's too white for me from the camera, pero in person, it actually uh, fits my skin tone. But in the camera, super white niya because of the lighting, of course. Oxidized sa skin ko, kaya nagtutong down dun siya. The rest of it is tinalagay ko na lang sa neck ko. I am just using a flat top brush for blending. Concealer, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade 120. Product naman is a little goes a long way, pero gusto ko kasi ng full coverage for my under eyes. Eye bags ko talagang high definition din. And then to conceal my uh, pimples, kasi meron ako mga pimple scars, blemishes, and veins on this side and here. Yung ginagamit ko is sa Maybelline Fit Me in the shade medium. So nagko color correct din ako dito sa side na to, kasi nandito yung mga Ano ko, blemishes. Using this flat top brush, ginag anin ko lang siya. Just to conceal my blemishes and the veins. Again, using my flat top brush, ibe blend ko lang yung concealer. So that's the concealer and then to set my face, I'm gonna be using this Kuti Airspan Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. Yung ginagamit ko usually is yung uh, Tiny Buds Rice Baby Powder. Yun na kasi yung favorite ko. Pero eto, this is something from the drugstore then. Ang hindi ko lang gusto dito sa Kuti Airspan is masyado siyang nagsiset sa dry spots ng face ko or sa dry areas ng face ko. Kaya nagmumukhang, um, yung patong texture ng face ko, nagmumukha siyang matanda or like super dry. Kaya hindi ko siya masyadong pinapatagal on my face pag sinaset ko na siya. Yun lang yung pag-back ko with, when it comes to Kuti Airspan. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Make Brow Detail. I'm just gonna do it off cam kasi matatagalan tayo pag ginamit, pag ginawa ko siya on camera. To set my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline 
Fashion Brow 24 Hour Color Matcher. I'm gonna set my face with the infallible Pro Matte from L'Oreal. This is a matte finish and oil free as well. Ilalagay ko lang siya dun sa mga part na hindi ko nilagyan ng ano, ng setting powder. Ito naman, meron siyang coverage but perfect siya sa skin tone ko. This is in the shade 300 Nude Beige. And then, let's proceed to the blush. For the blush, I'm gonna be using the Milani Rose Tiaro Baked Powder Blush. So, din sa mga favorite ni Kathleen Lights. Kaya naging favorite ko na din siya. And, the Luminoso as well. Pero, ito yung nakuha ko. Kasi, mas fit siya sa skin tone ko. So, actually, looks like a bronzer. But, gusto ko siya. For the contour, I'm gonna use the Fashion 21. So this is in the shade Warm Tea. Now for my nose, I'm gonna use the Make Brow Detail to contour. I want a cool tone shade for contouring my nose rather than the warm tone. I'm just gonna blend it. Wow, where's my brush? Okay, so here. Tapos ginaganyan ko rin siya dito. I-extend ko siya until dito sa eyebrow bone ko or yung dito sa eyelid na part. Kasi mas magmumukha siyang natural when you do it this way. For my blush, ia-add ko lang tong Careline Oil Control Blush in this shade Touch of Pink on top of my Milani Baked Powder Blush. Kasi medyo nakukulangan ako ng pink. So, ito yung shade niya. Super light lang nito, but... I just curled my lashes. And for the mascara, I'm gonna be using the Fashion 21 Double Wear Mascara. I really like this mascara, guys. As in... At first, nung bago pa lang siya, I didn't like it. For the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Nishido Color Eyeshadow in the shade Gold Foil. Pero ginagamit ko siya as highlighter kasi it's very subtle and maganda yung shade niya for a highlighter. This is my Holy Grail. Super affordable pa ha. I bought these for only 69 pesos. It's a bit chalky or powdery, pero pwede mo naman basahin yung brush mo when prior to applying this highlighter. For my lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Nishido um, Lip Liner in the shade Rosette. Actually, gamit na gamit na siya. As you can see, ang liit na niya. I super love this lip liner. And to set it, I'm gonna be using the Careline Gotta Go Matte Liquid Lipstick. Ito din yung favorite ko na nude lipstick from Careline. Isa to siya sa mga favorite ko. Very comparable sa Colourpop. By the way, I'm just having my iced coffee right now. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray Set. It's a makeup extender setting spray. <coughs> this is a complete look, and as you can see, super fresh. Super madali siyang gawin, despite na yung ginamit ko is all drugstore makeup products, but I still came up with this uh, decent look for any occasion. Simple lang siya. And I really like it because it looks so natural as well. Thank you so much for watching and 
please give this video a thumbs up subscribe on my channel if you're not yet already subscribed also don't forget to click that little bell notification it simply notifies you whenever i upload new videos bye They say Mike's about to blow though. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like bogles, you. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying.